This is one of the brackets that holds the shroud and radiator tight against the um, the core support. So that's why I'm gonna have to make allow for this new seal just to sit back here and then end up right here under the, um, the hood hinge. What I'm gonna try first is this lighter fluid. See if I can, this stuff is really good for removing glues and stuff like that. So I'm gonna put some of that over here and see if that kind of softens the, uh, the glue and some of the um, leftover foam. I'm gonna try to find plas plastic um, squeegee or something like that to, to see if I can remove this stuff without scratching the, uh, the top of the support there, even though it's gonna be covered by the, uh, by the new seal. I think I may also go ahead and remove this for now. I have a good idea where this is gonna go. I just found this old uh, squeegee. And what I wanna do here is Remove leftover remnants of of the uh, gasket uh, seal. So this stuff works really well. I mean the um, lighter fluid. So I'm gonna apply a couple more coats of that and uh, remove as much as possible of this stuff. Have it ready for the new seals. I was able to get most of the stuff off of the um, support with the exception of a few tiny little remnants that I'm not going to worry about. And uh, I had to use a little bit of, I mean the lighter fluid worked really well but there was some stuff that wouldn't come off. So I had to soak it a little bit with goof off, professional strength. And that stuff is, is really good. I just didn't wanna damage the finish. So I was careful applying while applying it. This part is is ready now for the for the new seals. See, there's a tiny little bit here, but I don't want to keep scraping and remove paint or scratch the finish. This will all be covered by the new seal. The new seal starts from about here. Again, I don't want it to really, um, I don't want to have issues between the snorkel and the seals. I don't want them to be pushed out by the snorkel, so I'm going to have to line them up properly. That's not a big deal. And here's where the other one pretty much ended, so that's, that's about a little bit quarter inch shy of where 
and you see it's gonna start and all the way down here is another tiny little remnant of foam and I guess it just kind of comes down here probably ends right right there so yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be great and I don't know if you can tell here you can see a little bit of an outline and that's the um, the hood um, can't think of the word now um, you know what I'm talking about this protective pad you can see the outline of the snorkel so that is actually sealing properly above the snorkel and again on air to go into the snorkel into the carb and most of that uh, ram air to go through the radiator so yeah that's looking really really good next update when i get the, the seals hey guys today i received my 1976 77 and 78 l48 radiator support to hood air dam kit I ordered this from uh, Zip Corvette. It comes in this little bag, three pieces. And basically, this piece I'm not gonna be using because I already have this area protected with a very similar seal. This one actually could be also used for the same purpose. You have basically the two pieces for each side to seal this area between the radiator and the core support. The other two seals are for this area, the top of the uh, core support between that and the hood. So you're basically sealing this area from air just being wasted. So, there's not a lot of instructions out there. I call Zip, they were very helpful, but again, I had to figure it out pretty much by myself. I found some old pictures of my Corvette with the original seals, and these things pretty much fit here, just like so. And, I suppose, again, I'm just guessing here, this portion at the very end would be, would fit in between the uh, the two bolts at the bottom of the, um, of the hood hinge bracket. Um, then you can still reach the other bolts if you if you needed to remove the radiator, which hopefully I will not have to do. Now here, there's a little bit of a gap. I don't think it's a big deal. I can probably put it really close to the snorkel and that would be fine. However, there's no adhesive here. So these pieces will have to be glued onto this um, part of the support. And for that, I think I'm gonna use some uh, 3M spray adhesive. So, yeah, that, that'll, that'll provide a, a better seal for that area. And um, I think they'll kinda conform to the shape of the uh, of the hood here. You can see there's a, a little, um, like a step down here or up, and that would be sealed by this portion. So again, um, I think it's going to help tremendously. 
because the idea again is to keep the air in this cavity here instead of just being wasted in the uh, inside the engine bay. I mean the the motor's got to be cooled by the by the coolant, the, the water pump, and all of that. But anyway, I'm gonna get started to um, to get these installed, and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so this is the finished product. I have it glued to the core support. And one thing that I, I didn't like is the fact that this was a little bit kind of too short here. And um, so what I did is I cut a, a piece of the, um, the, one, the, the, the long piece that I'm not gonna be using. And I just made a little filler kind of cube here, which has this self-adhesive backing. So that's in place. You can barely tell there's two pieces here. It doesn't really matter. And um, I think I'm pretty close to this edge here. So I think that's still, I mean, it's gonna be a heck of an improvement over what was there. I use the, um, the spray glue which I think is gonna hold just just fine. This is a high strength 3M spray uh, adhesive. So that's one side, now I have to do the other side. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna close the hood just to let it kind of get formed and settled. But yeah. I um, I hope this helps someone who may be wondering how to how to do this. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention I don't know if it applies or not. These core supports here. This one is very close to the clamp thing here. There's a hole and supposedly there's some kind of locking or whatever a pin a plastic thing that goes in there that is supposed to hold. The, the seal in place. Well, those things don't don't have a hole, and uh, of course it's easy to make one. But I just think that gluing this in place, it's a lot safer and a lot better. So let me get started with the other side, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to have to modify it as well, but. Um, See if I press this in here. Yeah, there's too much of a gap there. I mean, I know I'm being picky here, but I can add about a, a, a little piece here, an inch, inch and a half, and that'll give it uh, a better seal. So there's no, no loss, just like I did for this end. Alrighty, I'll be back in a few. All right, I just want to show you what I'm doing here. Since I have to apply the adhesive, I don't want that glue to be all over the, the sides. It looks horrible. So I kind of mask the sides to protect them and then carefully remove the tape after I apply the adhesive. So then I end up with a, with a clean seal. I don't want to have that um, stuff because this spray is great, but it gets all over the place. So, anywho, let me get this, a couple of coats of the, uh, this glue here. This is a, I don't know if it's a, it's not a contact cement, so I only apply the adhesive to the, uh, to the foam. As you can see, I left this portion um, covered because I still wanna have a little bit of flexibility if I need to remove or adjust some bolts. I can just kind of flick this thing out of the way. 
and uh, do whatever is necessary to adjust or remove bolts or whatever. So next, I'm gonna carefully remove the, um, the masking tape and, um, and install it. So I have my seal ready with the adhesive. And I'm just gonna carefully position it here next to this bracket and start getting it into place. This bottom portion, like I said, is just kind of movable, which I don't even know that's necessary, but I think that's, that's pretty good. And the only reason, like I was saying is there are two bolts down here. So if I need easy access, I'll be fine and this. This will accommodate whatever, you know, when these things, when the hood is down, it'll just kind of conform to that shape. And here's the other little block that I was talking about earlier barely tell that is there so now I have both seals in place and uh, I'm pretty sure how that's how they they're supposed to uh, to be installed again if I had a different air cleaner I may want to use the uh, the long one they send with the with a self-adhesive across the uh, the top there. But um, this is how I had to do it with the uh, snorkel in place. I think it looks pretty cool. So next what I'm gonna do is set the tripod up here. And I'm just gonna lower the hood, see how that feels. And I heard a little bit of this, this bolt here pushing this seal at the very end. No big deal. And of course, the hood closes fine. The gap is good. So again, we'll see how it all works out. I mentioned before, I think you can see the, the outline of the snorkel and print it onto the, the liner. And in this area is where the seals are gonna, are gonna push as well as here on the side. So, is it per perfect? No, you know, but uh, this is gonna be a heck of, of an improvement over having nothing there. And uh, I'm very pleased with how it looks. Alrighty, that's it for now.